Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at the newly released MCP toolkit within Docker. So now you can use MCP via Docker extensions. That's what we're going to do in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I am on Docker website. You know, it says uh, announcing Docker MCP catalog and toolkit. The simple and secure way to use MCP tools. And I am on Windows machine. If you're on Windows, you can use a Docker desktop. Same goes with Mac as well. But if you're on Linux, you can do through CLI as well. Uh, right now, it's available through Docker extensions, which you can find it out on Docker desktop. You can see it says, at the heart of agentic AI are MCP tools, but using them should not be a hassle. So Docker's MCP catalog and toolkit make it easy and of course secure, right? Because now that's available through Docker. So that's what we're gonna you know, do in this video, right? They have support to you know use already available MCP servers. And also you can use through VS code or cloud, which are nothing but, you know, MCP client where you can, uh, you can use host the MCP server basically. So what do you have to do here is go to Docker desktop. I assume you have Docker desktop. If you don't have just install Docker desktop from here, this is how you can install Docker desktop. If you don't have it, just come here and write Docker desktop install. You can see it will take you to this page. That's their documentation. It says, install docker desktop on windows if you have mac it will automatically recognize that and it will show you that particular page to install docker desktop on mac os now i'm on windows so i already have it i'm not going to install that right now you can see if you install maybe first time you will not see any containers images volumes and whatnot but i use docker a lot i have a lot of things you can see i have n and i have some zero trust architectures based agents and I have some containers that I that that you can see it over here. Now you should come here on extensions. Click on add extensions, and I'm going to click on add extensions. And when I click on add extensions, you can see here it says extensions marketplace. Docker extensions let you use third-party tools within Docker Desktop to extend its functionality. Now see, uh, we are interested in MCP, so we don't care about these things. So you have to search mcp here model context protocol the moment you search mcp it will bring up docker mcp toolkit you can see it says docker mcp toolkit is a docker desktop extension allowing to connect dockerized mcp servers to the mcp clients right and this video is of course going to be the part of mcp playlist i already have around 13 videos if i'm not wrong on the mcp playlist this is going to be the 14th probably right so let's install this the moment I install here, you can see it says installing. It will take a, a bit of time to install Docker MCP toolkit. Also, one thing I would like to highlight is that, you know, if if you haven't updated Docker, I think you should update your uh, Docker to latest Docker release, right? Uh, that will help you. Sometimes uh, when I was using it with the older Docker desktop version, it was throwing some errors. But now this should work. So I will, I'll come back when this is installed. All right, you can see that it's it now changes the st status from installed to open. It means that it has successfully installed. You can again uninstall it if you want to uninstall. Let me just click on open. So you can see we find out MCP servers and MCP clients over here, right? Uh, when you when we click on MCP toolkit because that's what we installed. Now you can find out n number of servers. Like there are more than hundred MCP servers. Let's say you want to connect with Astra DB, right? So you can install this. If you want to connect connect with Atlassian, if you want to do something with Jira, let's say you want you are working with some ticketing system kind of Astra for Confluence for documentation. So you can we can work with Atlassian. You can connect with Azure. Uh, and then we have a lot of things. Brave search, for example, if you want to do uh, information discovery on the internet. So you can use all of this server based on what you want to build. You know, uh, I'm going to search for time, let's say. So time, you can see time and time zone conversion capabilities. And it says two tools. Now, you can find out the tools over here. Convert time and get current time. Just for the sake of this demo, we're going to, of course, enable time here. You can see it says uh, this has been enabled. Now, you go to MCP clients. Similarly, as you can see, we are on MCP servers. You go to MCP clients and you can find out right now it has 
four MCP clients. Gordon, of course, uh, you can see now on top, it says Ask Gordon, which is on beta mode right now. And then we have Plot for Desktop, which is, of course, uh, the primary uh, MCP client across the ecosystem, I believe, right? A lot of people use just Cloud for Desktop in their day-to-day -day, uh, task. And then Cursor, of course, uh, that you can connect. Now, Cloud Desktop, there are two ways to connect. Manually, you can configure this through the uh, config file and through uh, connect as well. It, it depends on you. Now, it says connect other MCP clients to the same server by specifying the following command. So you have to, you can also run that. Okay, you can see it says docker run hyphen i hyphen hyphen rm alpine socat uh, standard input output tcp host and docker or internal and it runs on port double eight double one. That's what it runs on, you know, the MCP server that, that we have. Now, you want to click on connect. So the moment you click on connect, now you can see it has been connected, but you can also do manual configuration. So if you look at here, it says cloud.ai download and expected config path, depending on what kind of operating system you are using. And you can go and of course, you can also add MCP Docker to MCP server sections, right? Now what I'm going to do here is, and of course you can also connect with cursor. So you can see we have cursor also connected. So we have Gordon, Cloud Desktop and cursor. Both have been both have been, you know, uh, Cloud and Cursor have been connected, which runs like locally in your system. And Gordon is available, uh, you know, within Docker Desktop as well. So, uh, you know, if, if you want to use any other MCP clients, you can again run this. Now, if I'll show you Cursor here, right? Now, this is this is how you can uh, add new global MCP server. You can see mine is already running. I already have asked the current date time. But here you can see it says, so you have to go to cursor settings, you know, first of all, and then you will find out MCP in that setting. And then you can find out MCP Docker because that's already has been added. I haven't manually added it, you just clicked on this, uh, you know, connect button and it's automatically added it over here. And you can see it's running, it's green. If it's red, it will throw an error. You can see this is the command which have been utilized called docker run hyphen I MCP client, blah, blah, blah. And it has two tools, get, uh, current date and convert time. So I ask what is current date time? You can see it used, it's called the MCP tool and it says the current date and time in UTC is this, this, this. If you need the time in a different time zone, let me know. So this is how you can you can do guys, right? I mean, you can use, you know, Claude, you can use Cursor, you can use Gordon. So now it's available through Docker, right? Claude is uh, a bit laggy. You know, they, they have issues. It's all, it has network connectivity issues on HTTP, SSE. Uh, server side so cursor and windsurf and uh, goose on mac is really good if you want to use it but yeah this is how you can uh, use through docker wanted to create a quick video on to show how you can use mcp toolkit through docker desktop and use not only this you can use bunch of a bunch of servers if you go to servers you can find out n number of servers so you can search playwright if you want to let's say you want to enable playwright you can enable playwright and you can add a lot of things. You can see it's like, like a added playwrights and whatnot. Then you have to, of course, uh, add a refresh and then it and then, and then it's gonna do. So let me know if you have any question, thoughts or feedback or if you are using uh, Docker Desktop MCP Toolkit. Uh, uh, and if you have any doubt, happy to uh, help you answer that as well. You know, happy to help you debug. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos, you know, in near future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.